Hello everyone, this is Shiraz Ahmed Khan, your host. Viewers, today we'll continue our discussion with the creation of house styles. We have learned so far how to create house styles and how to apply house styles. Today we are going to learn just one thing that once the house styles are created, can we make modifications in that particular house styles? So in order to do that, first of all, click the home tab that is by default selected and today we are going to make modifications in the house style that we created last time for the task 14b so open that task click the home tab that is by default selected and uh, focus on to the styles group or section and click this small arrow to launch the styles pan and once the style pan is styles pan is launched right click on to the subheading and let's discuss these uh, context menu options you can update subheading to match selection it means that if you select the object onto which this style is applied and you make modifications in its appearance you can update your style according to that those modifications secondly you can straight away modify this house style by using this option i'll come back to this point later you can select all no data you can remove this style completely you can remove it from the style gallery as well you can just delete the subheading so different options are there you can uh, we are going to focus on to three that you can remove this style at all you can remove it along with the data you can modify it or you can make modifications onto the text onto which this style is applied and you can update the style according to those modifications so now for the time being click modify option it will show the same dialog box that we have been discussing from the last two videos but with a different caption that is modify style and for today's video uh, we are asked to change the four color or the font color of the text of the subheadings we have two subheadings in our document along with the background color so for the font color we have two options you can change the font color from this automatic option and choose the dark blue color or you can click the format button go to the font option and from here you can choose the font color as well so font color is chosen and now i've been telling you since start of this chapter that i'll come back to this point automatically update later on so now it's a right time to discuss it viewers automatically update means that once the style is created and once it is applied onto the text if automatically update is marked it means that later on if you come back to the style and make modifications in it automatically all those settings will be applied onto each and every object onto which this style it's already been used so now we know that we applied this house style the subheading house style onto two subheadings of our document and now we'll see that because automatically update is checked so these settings we have made just only one change that we have changed the font color and you will observe that automatically this font color will be applied onto both of the sub -hadding. so finally click ok button and look we did not select anything but wherever the subheading style was applied into our document automatically these changes are applied onto those two sub -hadding. So the next thing uh, for today's video is to change the highlight color or the background color of the text of the two subheadings. So viewers, let me tell you that there is no inbuilt option to uh, change the back color, background color or the highlight color. So we'll have to do it manually one by one. So for that purpose, select the first subheading first and to change the background color, focus on to the font group or section of the home tab and click this text highlight color drop down arrow it will show a comparatively smaller palette color palette and choose the yellow repeat the same process for the second subheading and click this yellow option so uh, viewers 
Uh, today we learned only one thing that how to make modifications in the house styles and we also saw that uh, uh, for the background color we'll ha we had to apply it manually one by one onto the subheadings. During the next video we'll learn the use of format painter option in the clipboard group or section of the home tab. So that's it for today and before leaving finally save this file with the new name that is task 14 C click the save button and uh, that's it for today viewers save the changes and do not forget to subscribe my channel and do not forget to like this video hope to see you again goodbye